What's up guys, this is James. I'm gonna show you how to make backups for your data in Cache Footprint. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and dig into this. I'm gonna flip over to my desktop so you can take a look and follow along as I go through the different settings for making backups within Cache Footprint. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do three backups within Cache Footprint. There are three types, the manual backup, the ask for backup at store close, and then the automatic backup when you close the store. So first, I'm gonna show you how to do a manual backup. Go to the tools menu, select server database, and then backup database. It's that simple. You can save this file, it's just a, a BAK file. You can save it wherever you want. I recommend using Dropbox, Google Drive, uh, OneDrive, you can do that too, or just write to a, a USB drive is fine as well, just to get it off the computer is, is the idea. That way, something happens to the machine, you have a backup off the machine so you can restore that if need be. I recommend doing it at least once a week. Some folks do it every night, some do it once a month, some don't do it at all. Um, it all depends on your, your preference, your level of comfort. So let's go ahead and check out the next option, which would be Tools, Options, then click on the data source tab. And right here in the middle, it says ba uh, data backup settings. So the backup mode by default will should be set to ask to backup data at store close. That's the default. So you can change it to backup manually, which is the other option I just showed you. Um, the ask at store close or the third option, which is automatically backup at store close. When you choose automatic backup, it will use the backup folder that you specify here. You can click the ellipsis button to change that to a Dropbox folder, USB drive, what have you. Um, but when you have those two options selected, it will either ask or automatically do it. Those are, the preferred method would be to have it ask you. That way you don't always have to make a backup if you don't want to, but you at least have the choice and you are reminded to do so. So I'm gonna leave mine at ask to backup. And when it refers to store close, it's referring to when you run the Z out. So you would close your ship, <clears throat> excuse me. You would close your terminal or reconcile the cache for using the X out. Um, then at the end of the day, everything is done. Everybody's cached out, checked out, reconciled, all that good stuff. You're gonna run the store close or the Z out. That's gonna print a summary of all of the X out reports. You can have it run sales reports, inventory reports, all that good stuff too. Um, but this will run those reports close everything out, and then at the very end, it's gonna ask you if you wanna make a backup, or if you have automatic selected, it's just gonna go ahead and do it. But, so for whatever reason, if you didn't make a backup, your computer crashed, and you can still get to the hard drive, there is an opportunity to, to still recover that information. You would go to the Windows File Explorer, drag this back into view here, a couple monitors going. You would go to the C drive, Program Files, Microsoft SQL Server, and you're gonna see the name of your instance listed here. And to get that instance, you can go up to the Tools, Options, Data Source tab, and you'll see it right here. The last part is the instance name. So in my case, it's SQL Express 2016. So I would go to X SQL Express 2016, MS SQL, Data, I'm gonna allow the access to that folder and you're gonna see right here are my two files that hold all my information. So if I didn't make a backup for whatever reason, my computer crashed and I brought it to you know a tech and they were able to restore or get the information off the hard drive, maybe you're a techie and you plugged it in as a slave drive and you're able to get on it that way, that's cool. This is the folder where your data is and it's the MDF and LDF files that are the important information. And once you have those files, you can use our other video manually restoring your information to Cache Footprint, and that will show you how to take these two files and attach them back to your new instance on your new machine. All right, that's it. As always, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more fast support through online video. See you next time. Yeah,